Oh, okay. I did some research on these holidays, and I found out that Christmas has nothing to do with Christ at all. It's all about the worshiping of a sun god. During the time when Constantine was converting um, pagans into Christians, you know, the pagans didn't want to let go of their celebrations. So what they did to compromise was they married the two. They took pagan festivals and Christian doctrine and put them together. That was in the 4th century. But it doesn't matter because if we lived during the 4th century and we call ourselves Christians, like the early Christians did, we would not have celebrated it. Can't you let your children enjoy Life. the festivities the festivities of the holidays, the music, the spirit of, of kind of giving and family and, and being together. I mean, it doesn't have to be whether it's a pagan origin or a Christian origin or there's a real Santa Claus or you believe it was Christ's birthday or whatever. I mean, can you not find a way to fold this in to the current Absolutely world? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because to me, it's, it's a form of Satanism. If anybody knows anything about um, pagans, they didn't believe in Christ. They didn't believe in God. So would you let your children go to a seance and, and conjure up spirits? You know, of course not. You hate Valentine's Day. Yes, that's another pagan holiday. I mean, it, it's, it's as simple as going to your Encyclopedia Britannica, looking up Valentine's Day, and it'll tell you everything. This is not my opinion. These are facts. And, and, and if Christ was around, he would completely, completely disagree with all these celebrations. I like to say that you can't turn pus into pudding. You can't change something into a good thing because okay. it was never intended that way. Okay, let me... You're saying that's a pus-filled holiday. Yes. I think that those who who understand the meaning, the true meaning of Christmas and continue to do it, you're going to, your soul's going to be judged. I, I, this is going out to the people who... Who are afraid during Judgment Day? Who are afraid? Who you know? Who are afraid to be sent to the hellfire? If you're just a regular, if you're an atheist, if you're just doing it for tradition, then I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to preachers, those who have a, a religious responsibility to lead the people, and I don't believe that people are they are leading the people correctly. I just totally blatantly disagree. Well, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that as a child that I didn't enjoy these things because I did, and I couldn't wait to get older to pass it on to my children. But you know, I got to stand up for righteousness. You know, what's right? What's more important? The happiness of my child or making God happy? Well, are you What's wicked? Are you wicked and ruined because you celebrate that as a child? Well, no, because that wasn't something I did. Well, you know, would I didn't your know. daughter be wicked and ruined if she were allowed to celebrate as a child? Well, no, because as a child, you're not even responsible for your sins. It's once you get older and have an understanding, it's your duty to do what's right. You know, everything that's fun <clears> isn't <throat> right.